the head is very important from your point of view. It is, apart from the disease point of view. Um, it's also uh, the identification, I have to check the identification. To verify it's the same animal. That's right, yes, as mm -hmm. per the passport. This is number three, Luke. Yeah, speechless really at the moment. Is it as you imagined it might be? Sort of expected it to be quite a powerful image, but I don't think you can really, I couldn't really prepare myself for it in terms of what I was going to see, because... Just, yeah. <laughs> Before the carcass can be eaten, meat inspector Mark Scotland checks the hooves, skin and head for any sign of disease or infections. We're looking for foot and mouth. Very important, just recently disappeared and hopefully won't come back. Do you think you could do this job, Phoebe? Can I step outside? Yeah, of course. Yeah, not anyone. Really well. mm -hmm. You're right. So you look like a ghost. Yeah, I've sort of gone a bit funny. Seeing it very close up is quite... The whole process, or being so close to the head? So close to the head, it's just... I could do sitting down. Try and sit down? OK, let's find you somewhere to sit down. Come on. While Luke recovers outside, Mark gives the head the all-clear, and it's time to start removing the hide. We wish you could have stayed in and sort of, like, braved it out of it, but... No, no, no. It's not about braving it out. No. This is about this is about what this experience is to you and how it cold, affects you. Yeah. This is the nurse. Okay. Because you've probably gone all really hot. So yeah, I've really gone hot and it. sort of a bit sweaty. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. obviously, if you feel that you want to come back at any stage, then yeah. you're free to do that. But but take it easy. I will do. Okay. okay. While Luke is with the on-site nurse, the bullock is still being skinned. James, you seem very calm. For me, it's like we were saying before, it's not the process of how it's done, whether it's done humanely or not. It's just the fact that it is done in order to feed us. I completely and utterly disagree. I think it's some rubbish. You live in London, eh? This is, this is this a way of life. This is how it is. This is how the entire countryside functions. You may say you solve, like world hunger without doing this, but you put a hell of a lot of people in England out of a job and how they afford to eat. Your arguments seem to stem from the British countryside well, and the British, British livestock and everything like that. I think you're just unrealistic, to be honest. I'm unreal charity starts at home, okay, this isn't charity, but you know, you can all do your bit by eating meat such as this. We know exactly where it's come from. We've oh, Luke's back. back yeah, of course yeah. it is. Come on, Luke. You feeling all right? Yeah, actually fine. I'm sorry to be fresh air now. I sort of feel a lot better, you know. Okay. The slaughtermen split open the carcass to remove the internal organs. We're now removing the edible offals. That's a big liver. But there again, it's only, it's Luke's, only one. Luke's gone again? Yeah, I'm going again. <laughs> OK. As Luke recovers for a second time... The abattoir crew cut the carcass in half. Mark carries out a final inspection and approves the carcass with a stamp. And that's the end of Luke, James and Phoebe's first abattoir experience. Does it vex you slightly that Luke is a meat eater, but he couldn't stomach this procedure? All credit to the guy. He did very well. He was very nervous. Um, and... I respect him greatly for, um, for being honest and actually saying, I can't handle this, you know, rather than standing there and just taking it. No, I thought it was remarkably ungory, actually. We didn't really, like, stun gun to the head and relatively small incision in the artery. It's kind of, it's not, not exactly a hack sort of job. Uh, Bullock dealt with it very well. Well, he didn't have a clue what was coming. At the moment, I feel a little slightly disappointed in myself for not seeing it all the way through. You can smell, sort of smell the death. This happens every day all over the country, all over the world even, and sometimes not in conditions as good as this. Today, I did decide to eat vegan food for a day, just to see what it was like, just to sort of see what things are like on the, the other side of the fence. And even seeing that, 
isn't going to make me change the way I eat. It'll change the way I think about what I eat. John was saying, uh, you never forget your first slaughter. And I won't forget my first, that first time, because it, it will be in my mind when I sort of eat beef again. John and his son are ready to kill the next bullock. Mosson, Kerry and Christella get ready to watch. Welfare of the animal is very important at this stage. This is not meat at the moment. This is an animal, a live animal, until such time as it's slaughtered. Here it comes. It's very important as well to the flavor of the meat that it's not stressed prior to slaughter. Now Richard is going to stun the animal. You have to be very accurate when you're shooting it. That's why he's being very, very careful. Now we have to move quite quickly. What can it feel? How, how aware is the animal right now? The animal will know absolutely nothing at all. That's it. OK. Is it awake? Pardon? It just moved. Does that mean it will move just a little bit, but nothing very much. Oh, is it nerves or...? Yeah, just nerves. What you see now in movement is completely automatic movement. Uh, as in what is known as a fight, fight or flight. You, don't, you do it without thinking. This animal is not thinking. Wow. This is, brain, this is now brain dead because it's had the, uh, the, the severe trauma to the head. So now it's and just... And it's bleeding. It's bleeding. It's, bleeding. it's, it's bled to death yes, by now. That's right. Alternatively, couldn't it be killed straight away? With a free well, bullet? Yeah. What we don't want in this area uh, is a free bullet because yeah. if it gets out, somebody's going to get hurt. So it's the same effect as a bullet, but except the... So there's no, no residue left in the... In the That's right. Oh. And it's, it's safe. That's number two, Christella. <laughs> Thank you. OK. Wow! <laughs> Mark, the head is a particularly important <gasps> piece of the animal to you, isn't it? From a hygiene point of view. Oh! It certainly is. <laughs> Mosson? Sorry. Shit! Sorry! With the head removed, it now needs to be skinned. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's Richard doing now? Richard's now removing the tongue before the inspection. That tongue is long. I'm looking for blisters. Blisters is foot and mouth. Uh, this one's obviously clear of that. And now we're looking for TB. TB uh, out in the countryside is, is quite prevalent. If it's only in the one place, then the, just that one area will be rejected. But if I find it in another place, then it's two places, then that carcass will be then condemned. No parasitic cyst, no TB, I'm a happy man. A clean bill of health for that it head. It certainly is. The head will now be disposed of as it's no longer of any use by incineration. What's the next? phase, Mark? After putting it onto the cradle, we'll now remove the feet and then carry on to flay or dress out the hide. John, in a bigger abattoir, dealing with commercial uh, numbers, how many bullocks would pass through in a day, say? It should be two or three hundred, Mark, couldn't it? Two or three hundred? Yeah. Yes. Wow. And they wouldn't be in a situation that they would be slaughtered one at a time like this. They would be slaughtered in a line system whereby one man would be doing one operation and it would just be gradually moving along on a line. What's next? As we, we're raising the animal now, we'll start removing the stomach and intest intestines. Need a bit of air? I do, but I'll wait, cos I'm here now. So, sure. I, yeah, I want to see the whole process. The internal organs that can be eaten are removed for Mark's inspection. That's yeah, the liver. Like the this white line here indicates to me that we have liver fluke. Liver fluke? Fluke. It's, it's like a parasite, and it actually lives in the bile ducts of the, the liver. This liver will be thrown away. 